Human average temperature is 36.7 degrees Celsius. Normal range is from 36 to 37.4 degrees Celsius. It means, for some people normal temperature is lower, such as 36 and for some, it is much higher. Rectal or vaginal temperature is slightly higher by 0.5, compared to axillary temperature. Most sensitive temperature measurement is rectal temperature, because other type of measurement are not precise enough and can falsely exclude fever. There is not a single agreed upon upper limit for normal temperature, but for most cases. Less than 35 is hypothermia, up to 37.5 is normal temperature. More than 37.5 is a fever. Temperature between 37.5 to 38 is called subfebrile temperature. Generally high temperature than normal is called febrile. More than 40 is hyperpyrexia. There are different types of fever exist. Continuous fever is a type or pattern of fever in which temperature does not touch the baseline and remains above normal throughout the day. Such fever is mostly caused by infections like bacterial pneumonia, infective endocarditis, and tuberculosis. Intermittent fever, where the temperature elevation is present only for a certain period, then normal for several hours. Intermittent fever is caused by malaria, leishmaniasis, pyemia, and sepsis. Pell Epstein fever is a rarely seen condition noted in patients with Hodgkin's lymphoma, in which the patient experiences fevers which cyclically increase, then decrease over an average period of one or two weeks. Fever is regulated by brain, hypothalamus specifically. It senses pyrogenic cytokines and increases body temperature. There are two main ways to increase body temperature, elevation of body temperature by shivering. And decrease heat loss by peripheral vasoconstriction. The high limit for body temperature is 41.1 degrees Celsius. The higher temperature is rare if there is no structural damage of hypothalamus. Fever, generally, is an infection predictor. Common causes of fever are infections, viral infections, influenza, the common cold, COVID-19, meningitis, urinary tract infections, appendicitis, Lassa, and malaria. Fever in elderly more commonly indicates bacterial infection in the body. Fever can be characteristic of cancer also, especially Hodgkin lymphoma. Fever plus rash and eosinophilia defines the drug reactions. High body temperature in the first trimester of pregnancy may cause birth defects. Hypothermia is, when body temperature increases not because of cytokines, but other factors. Like thyroid storm and heat stroke. These cases are important because, during hypothermia body's temperature can exceeded more than 41 degrees Celsius and resulted irreversible denaturation of proteins in the brain. Malignant catatonia is a disorder in which, hypothermia is accompanied with autonomic instability, and altered mental status. Serotonin syndrome is a serious drug reaction. It is caused by medications that increases level of serotonin in the body. Such medications are antidepressants and psychostimulants. Symptoms that can range from mild, shivering and diarrhea, to severe, muscle rigidity, fever and seizures. Severe serotonin syndrome can cause death if not treated. Management is based primarily on stopping the usage of the precipitating drugs, the administration of serotonin antagonists such as cyproheptadine. Most fever is well tolerated. When temperature is less than 40 C antipyretics are effective. If temperature is more than 41 degrees Celsius it is hypothermia, rather than cytokine-induced fever. This condition is medically emergency. Regardless of the cause of the fever, alcohol sponges, ice bags and ice water enemas also ice baths will lower the temperature. It is more effective during the hypothermia. Aspirin or acetaminophen in every 4 hours is effective to control fever in most cases.